happy hunting. Woo. Hey everybody, welcome. Okay. What's uh, that trailer? Like that trailer? Yeah, it was a good trailer, good right? Trailer. Yeah, okay. I feel I feel that trailer. Uh oh, I'm supposed to be sitting where Brian, Brian is. Standing. Why is that? Today you're Brian. Oh. Because I'm Brian. Now. Oh, I see. I I'm still learning how to read. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, why welcome. Do, why do I have quotation marks around my name as if I'm as if I'm not really here? Is that your code name? <laughs> That's your code yeah. name. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Cause, so I'm bare shoes. No one will guess my real name. <laughs> Nobody will know. <laughs> <laughs> I still I still say that you should have spelled it Brian with a Y. So it should Ugh. have been Brian Ugh. with a Brian. No, it feels <laughs> wrong. It feels <laughs> alien oh, and a it. four for the uh, A. Right. <laughs> I feel yeah. like wearing that would be like wearing jeans that are like way too small or big on you. It uh, just like just never it would you would, walking would feel weird. Yeah. Everything I do wearing would that feel name. Wrong. Anyway, hi. Hi. Hello, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome everybody. We are the N Mass crew. I am Bear Shoes. This is Brian. And that's Morser. <laughs> but it's not true. They're actually switched. Uh, we are showing off Breach today because we have some pretty exciting news. Yeah. Uh from right now until 10 a.m. on Monday, uh, if you access Breach, you get free access to it, and that free access can just keeps going. You get it up until uh, the game fully launches into uh, free to play. So you'll be uh, you'll be good to go. Play free, keep forever weekend. Play free. Yeah. Did keep you make forever. that name? Uh, no, it was P F K F. Not that one up actually. Yeah, P F K F. P F K F. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we call it. Yeah, that's Make what we say. It's, it's yeah. all day here at work. It's just PFKF, PFKF. Yeah. yeah. But uh, uh, <laughs> that video, or are we gonna? What what is breach? Are we gonna jump into that? Yeah, let's quick? jump in. Let's jump into what breach actually is. All right. The video did a much better job for explaining the, for the uninitiated. For I the imagine uninitiated. That some people tuning in have already checked it out. Yeah. Um, probably now. But so for the people who have played, tell us how how we do describing it. Yeah. Uh, breach is a four v one action RPG. Yep. So uh, you can be participate as part of a team of four uh, heroes as you move through a dungeon. Like uh, you mages. can select mages, yes. Mages. You can select one of multiple classes and then once you progress far enough you can actually make your own classes mm. by mixing and matching mm. abilities. That's really cool. Which is very neat. Um, really cool. You can also play the Veil Demon. So you're kind of like a mean uh, DM. Like a dungeon but you master. are like a mean DM, aren't you? Just floating around. You can possess enemies, uh, fight as them throughout the level. You can summon traps. You can push heroes into other dimensions, and then everything's really dark, and you have to find your way out of the dimension. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's a lot of fun. And we're going to be playing a few rounds today. Yeah, we are. We're going to be playing quite a few rounds today. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, one of the major reasons that we're showing off the game today is because we actually just experienced uh, the first big patch which includes mm. uh, a new class which is the medic it includes a new map which is the uh, valley of kings uh, and in that map comes a new boss which is segment uh, there's a lot of cool stuff that just came out in game uh, plus uh, not only if you play it right now do you get free access forever but we're going to give away a little bit of a code and we'll be showing them off in just a second Wait, but, what's uh, the name of the new boss a uh, segment it's uh, S. I think it says Sekbit, which is like two different words for like a, like a small increment. Yeah. And I was like, hmm, <laughs> this is, is that this is just a bit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, so with that, let's go ahead and jump right in and we can. I'm not scared can... of that monster. Yeah, I'm afraid <laughs> of that I'm scared of him. <laughs> and uh, we can go ahead and show off what we're going to uh, be giving away for free here. Oh, you're standing on the spray. I'm standing right on it. Ooh. So if you looks type, so good. It looks so good. Uh, if you uh, go to your launcher and click redeem code, or you can go to account.nmass.com. and like uh, Our logos literally never looked as good as it does on the spray <laughs> to me. It, it, it looks so uh, good. As a spray, it looks awesome. Our logo is great as street art. It's true. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Um, Literal street art. Yeah. You can uh, type in EME spray, and it will give you this spray for free in-game. And you can equip that to both your heroes and the Veil Demon as well. So... Uh, while you're killing people, whether they're demons or uh, good, good, good people, uh, you can throw up some street art. Yeah. So uh, someone's asked us like Itro nine nine nine. So can we buy the EA pack despite the free access this weekend? Yes. Yeah. 
Yeah, absolutely. So the free access weekend is just giving you access to the game. So currently, uh, if you log in and you want to give Breach a try, uh, you can absolutely do that for free from now until 10 a.m. on Monday. Uh, and you get free access forever. But if you'd like to buy one of the packs, uh, which will include you know, QC points or anything like that, then you can still purchase that and apply it to the account. Uh, and it will give you all of those items as well. So yeah, it's still uh, a great deal on QC points. Absolutely, like it's twenty dollars worth for ten bucks. Yeah. yeah, and then and then I think you do get some stuff for as you you get a, a, like a little bit of uh, QC points and and a character unlock when you finish the mm -hmm. tutorial. Just yeah. by doing the tutorial. Yeah. It's also, a so boost. some stuff that kind of gets you going. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. The boost is nice too. Yep. Get some extra gold and stuff, so you can start equipping out your character. And I think that's one of the things that. Um, I haven't gotten enough experience with like we played a ton of the alpha I certainly mm -hmm. did um, but the itemization and stuff wasn't fully robust then and yeah. I'm excited to like take the character the class that I like and, and like try different builds out yeah. 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 yeah yeah specifically I want to do stuff with the pyromancer because the pyromancer so far has been really really yeah that looks really cool, cool. When so you're playing it the other day but um, yeah, so uh, with that said, I think it's probably best if we just go ahead and jump right into it. So play, play, Let's play, watch you. play. So I'm gonna move over here and uh, play playing. a little bit. Yeah, he goes first. I'm gonna go first. Brian with a this is my stream. Oh, <laughs> uh, I'm just rotating like this. Yeah, yeah, perfect. <laughs> perfect. Like yeah. Um, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're there. Had another question for yeah. existing breach accounts from Steam. Can we use it with N Mass Launcher? Uh, I believe that should work just fine because I believe you're it should work, yeah. linking your account to your QC account when you uh, log in through the NMAS launcher. So it should just reference the same uh, QC account. So yeah, check it out. All right, so we're going to be jumping into uh, co-op versus AI. You can also choose to uh, jump into uh, co-op versus player, where it'll be four players versus one player as the Veiled Demon. Uh, but in this, in this case, it's just going to be the four... Four players. We're gonna jump in. We're gonna try to uh, try to beat beat the computer, and we'll see how we do. Oh, you're doing against AI. All right. Doing against AI. Um, we've. I, I feel like we've sort of answered this. Free weekend, so will it be a premium game? It will be free to play eventually. We're just in an early access period while uh, kind of the developers, um, QC games, take feedback from players and kind of incorporate that into future patches and refine based on on the community. Yeah. They And they're super responsive, and I think yeah. that's, that's one of the things that I've really enjoyed um, with QC is how passionate and responsive they are mm -hmm. to the players. Like, they've been from from their, oh, yeah. their partner stuff with Jay and the community all the way through the development cycle and everything with, with Gabe and <coughs> Dallas and team. Yeah. They're um, they're veterans. They, this isn't this isn't their first rodeo as far as making a game too. So right. yeah, and absolutely. We've seen it. We've seen it change from from you know day one. It feels like every week there's some little thing that's improved. Right. It feels really important or valuable to me. Yeah, like in this patch, uh, Veil Demon hero cues were added in. So if you mm. just really only want to be a Veil Demon or only want to be a hero, you can select that as you queue into things. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, while we're waiting for uh, the queue to pop here, oh, never mind. There the you queue go. has popped. The queue's popped. <laughs> hey, Play Breach is here. Hey! You guys should also check out uh, Play Breach's channel because they're uh, a lot better than us. Because they <laughs> made it. Because they made yeah. it. So uh, I'm going to play as my personal favorite class for the first go around, which is the Necromancer. I'm, I'm a big fan of that one. So. Yeah, we, uh, we started a fresh account here I'm for Pro streams. Proscythe. I love having a, I love a scythe. We need a, a good scythe wielding class. I love that scythe. I love the industrial scythe. It is industrial. Look at that. I love the um, like I for one like the the sort of cyberpunk aesthetic of the characters too. Mm -hmm. I like, yeah. I like having this weird, like magic's come back near future where I can basically wear like a Lakers jersey. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it actually looks like we have a medic on our team, so we will be able oh, to uh, 
to do that. Uh, so Ooh, here man. on the, I'm sorry, real quick, just on the right side of the screen, every time you level up as a team, you get to make a selection to uh, level up your character. Uh, so you can see I have three options there, which is to gain a damage shield after being uh, knocked down. Uh, I can increase my dodge charges. So you can see I have three dodge charges that'll go up to four. Uh, and then I can also uh, make it so my health potions will cleanse. So if I have it a status effect, the health potions will do that. So uh, I'm going to go with one because I'm all about passives and not actives. Okay. Watch out for those scarabs. Kirikui oh. Ki is the medic. Thanks for jumping in. Uh, hey. Yeah. It's one of our partners. It's an partner. Well, hello. It is. He was uh, at TwitchCon. Oh, cool. Yeah. Played some pogs with him. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Did you win? Uh, he was a pro pogs player. He brought his own with him and everything, too. He brought his own slammer. Yeah. That's a powerful move, coming to a game of pogs with <laughs> yeah. your own slammer. We should, Absolutely. Like we should know him. I give up. Look, I have only had one cup of coffee. Can't, I can't remember everybody. <laughs> Uh, so as we move into each room, we're going to have a different objective. For this one, we need to deliver artifacts. So those are going to be somewhere in the room. We can see the marker right there. Uh, they're going to head over there and try to pick it up, and then they're going to be delivering it to a drone. Keep the open for him. Yeah. It's true. Yeah, in each room, you are playing against the Veil Demon. So the Veil Demon is, well, they're trying to stop you from doing the yeah. drone delivery here, but uh, there's different objectives in each room, and so the score is kept up there at the top, the top bar. Uh, and you can't actually directly attack the Veil Demon either. You can uh, kill his minions uh, as they pop up. There's a bunch of these. You also see that he will summon an elite creature uh, later on. Uh, but uh, you'll see a purple orb fl flying around, and that's the Veil Demon. Uh, you cannot attack him at all. Yeah, he can... Uh possess monsters, so if you really like just kind of like hand-to-hand -hand combat, PvP type stuff, you can just you know summon an elite, possess it, fight from there. Yeah, I really like um, that build was super interesting. And yeah. The, and the Veil Demons too can, I think, be reshuffled with their abilities and everything to be, um, to be kind of custom, so you could in the future, like mm -hmm. as people, as metas get established, if people are like, oh, you're playing possession-based here. Can't throw them off. You by. have like you save that one um, mm -hmm. wreck damage or like snare for the right moment. Yeah. So the veil demon also has its own classes as well, yep. uh, but uh, you can also select these elites, and so they've chosen uh, Sobek, which is huge and scary and kind of an alligator man. Uh, these are my favorite rooms, which is just defeat all enemies. Each, so each map is themed, right? And so the the monsters. Are yeah. In this map, uh, Egyptian mythology. Right. Yes. There is. Um, it's yeah. <laughs> uh, there is, uh, uh, say, uh, Japan, uh, where you battle against. Uh, oh wow! Why am I blanking on the name? Oni. Oh cool. Yeah. Julia. So. Yeah. Uh, you'll notice that once you complete a room here, when you win, you get to make a selection. So you can build out, there's kind of a, there's an overall sort of getting the feel for your class, but then as you progress through a stage, you're also picking up perks right. to kind of modify further. And then you can actually tweak what perks you get based on the gear that you are equipping. Yeah, your gear gives you those options. Yeah. So your gear becomes part of your build, but you can only really complete your build if you're winning objectives. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Like uh, some of the gems will completely change how abilities work. Um, you know, make a single target attack AOE, uh, restore some health, all sorts of modifiers. Modifiers. Oh yes. Yep. So you can all of a sudden become much harder hitting. Yep. Yeah. I'm sure some of this stuff has been adjusted too, so since last time I played. Yeah. I gotta say that the medic is really cool because I am doing really good. Kiriku, you're an excellent <laughs> You're an excellent healer. Keeping you healed. Yeah. Nice. Get that uh, potion! Uh, as uh, health potions appear, 
uh, in chess, if you pick them up, they actually deliver to all of your team. So you can see I've got four of them right now. Is yours the build, the Necro build that like gets on a little, little minions as you kill things? Yes. So your three shoots the shoots the sneer and slow. Uh, I think. Yeah, I believe that's true. Uh, and actually, you can s if you hold B, you can see exactly what your uh, skills are. And Necro's minions is Empress. Yes. I like the occultist personally. Yeah. Out of the uh, kind of just stock classes, occultist is my favorite so far got a heal ultimate, but then you've also got like a shotgun, some shields, feel like sort of a, sort of a damage healer hybrid almost. There was a, a build, like a sub build of the Necro that was sort of like an off tank that had a lot of, a lot of crowd control. Mm, mm -hmm. Not hard crowd control, but soft crowd control, and I love the idea of doing that, playing that and Sort of being between the lines, yeah. So just trying to keep, like, keep things off of your healer, especially right. against a summon. Uh oh, elite. Uh oh, it's the alligator man. I just took a perk that is one of my favorites, which is the echo, where every time I attack, it echoes the oh, yeah. same attack uh, just, just a second after. That. Yeah. Okay. And now he's gone. <laughs> just like that. Now he's gone. Gone. Yeah. Now he's gone. Gone. That was my echo. I was doing that. Mm -hmm. Did you like my joke? Oh, I did. I get it. Have you ever seen Have you ever seen Gone <laughs> get Girl? It. I get it. Get it. Gone, what? gone, girl, girl. Gone, gone, girl, girl. Starring Ben Affleck. Okay. Starring yes. Neil Patrick Harris. Yes. <laughs> they are both. In the <laughs> Is that true? Yeah. I've never seen it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's just how I start conversations. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's my opener. Yeah. I find it really elicits feedback. Right. <laughs> Yeah, that's another thing. As the um, no, as the Veil Demon, these potion chests, you can kind of, you know people are going to be going to them, so you can build up some traps yeah, around well, those. Just, especially the newer players, they're like handy. They show up on your screen. Yeah. And they're sort of a... Really mm -hmm. There's one nice. of the rifts through the Veil. Through the Veil? Yeah, that's a breach right there. Hence the name. I think I think so. I think maybe right. Oh, heroes win! You guys are killing it. Yeah, we're doing we're really good. Living up to the name. This me we're this medic is treating us right. Whoop! Oh, All right. Well, uh, <laughs> there's an example. There's an example of a of a uh, trap that the veil demon is able to uh, to set out. Well, in, in this case, you're dealing with AI, mm -hmm. Veil Demon, where it's yeah. sort of reactive to how the players are playing. Mm -hmm. The higher level Veil Demons, though, uh, AI are pretty yeah, tough. Yeah. It's true. Yeah, the AI gets tough, and then it's... I mean, playing against a person running the Veil Demon is very challenging. I mean, it seems like if you jump down... The, oh, if you know what you're doing. Now you can't get back out. How are you going to get out, dude? Uh, that's aren't. fine. You aren't. This is this is this is it. This you're is gonna go fight a god. I mean, you guys are gonna win, but then you're well. Don't don't, sp don't spoil the end. Oh no, I spoiled the end. <laughs> Someone left some nice lanterns here, though. Like this they is did. the first time mm -hmm. this place has had a visitor. It was probably the boss at the end of the, the stage. Yeah, uh, Empress. Uh, yeah, he doesn't want you to fall down and get hurt. The Reaper is right. Yeah, it's the Diva tank. tank. I love that. I'm so, to me, a very like scratches all the itches for me that I like when I play this sort of game, which is it feels strategic. Yeah. I never want to. I, I never care to be the person who's leading the damage charts, and um, I, I think that you don't like getting. Those I grew up deeps. having like as a PC gamer with shitty PCs, so I could never be the class that needed to yeah, be like an MMOs that needed to do something at, at an opportune moment. Yeah. I needed to be the person who could look at my feet and like AOE heal or whatever. Uh -huh. um, that was my experience, my early experience with Dark Age of Camelot. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was always the warden off tank where I could use my positioning and then it, 
and some of my skills and time right. to like drop stuff in even if I couldn't see the effects or whatever, but I was relying on the people. Right. You were making effects for everyone else and they could appreciate them. Yeah, uh, in some ways I became terrain. Yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Perfect. Then later when I got a better computer, then I had a really high level weird off tank class that no one really needed. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like an elite an elite version of a shitty class. Okay. But so now it's because I find that really fun. And and WoW was a probably like a paladin or like weird builds of warrior. <laughs> I love that she says kick his entire ass. <laughs> Just the whole thing. Oh no. Oh. So, as Smorcer alluded to earlier, we are now fighting a god. I spoiled it. The Avatar of Ra. Where did he go? There he is. I think Ra put out these lanterns. Yeah. I don't think so. Oh, Ra. Is that where that comes from? That, I, that celebration? I'm pretty sure. Yeah. When you win, it was like. Mm hmm. The celebration of Ra, the sun god, I think. So I've used my ultimate ability, which summons a bunch of shamblers. You can see them all around, just kicking the shit out of raw. Shambling. Shambling. You can blow them all up, right? Uh, you can blow them all up. At the right time. Oh, if I wasn't trapped. Uh oh. So we can go ahead and. Oh no! Yeah, thank you, Kirikui. Now I'm immune. Clutch. That was clutch. I got these pillars. One of the classes has a, an ability that like just raises everyone up and get down. Or down. Yeah, there's an ultimate that'll just yeah. like everyone hit else everyone. Get down. Is that the um, arcane mender? Yeah, yeah the, uh, I think, I think so. that was the only real healing class at the start. Oh, you get, you know, one of your teammates is down. Uh oh. So the more people that are reviving, the faster it'll go. Mm -hmm. Which doesn't really reflect reflect real life if you're bandaging someone. I can't imagine. Having no, I think people it's just like throwing the bandage around here. Catch it. You <laughs> can. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's right. Though, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure that if somebody is choking, that if six people get a, gather around them, <laughs> group <Heimlich. laughs> Yeah. You guys heard like trauma room on the DS? I did. Yes, that game is very Speaking good. Speaking of very fast, like uh, surgical maneuvers, that game is ridiculous. <laughs> I gotta this person up as fast as I can. And of course, Hexacus is our like, ex resident expert in all the different class builds. So. Elementalist is the yeah. healing field yeah. ultimate. I'm just saying, it was just a like, cool. Like, that feels like an ultimate that I would maybe like throw into another class at some point. Yeah. Like, do a build where it's like, I do damage, but then I can also. res. Right. Alright, we're here on the last legs for Ra. Uh oh, but Anubis is here now. I'm gonna take care of Anubis by myself. That's what it's like. Yeah, you got it. Anub is. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, that's how they call him that. Yeah. Oh no, he's immune. Oh no, he's not. Get him. So that was probably. I think that would have been a veil demon ability. That's a possession slash ability. Yeah, it was an elite. That he was. Oh man, just dumping all the elites. Yeah, he is. Where's Raw? Oh. Got him. Getting beat. We did it, y'all. Okay, but now how are you going to get out of here? <laughs> <laughs> you We don't have to. You're trapped. Does anyone's ult travel back to base? <laughs> GG. You just always have to bring travel uh, and then You're guy. being rude in team chat. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. Uh, GG. That's what it says. <laughs> GG. Hey, oh, way to one up everybody with the cast. Nice yeah, I well, I, I do it right. Caps, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so what? 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 What's your, what's oh, your loot? Some sweet loot. Uh, so I got a bone vial. Mm -hmm. Maximum number of active shamblers increased by one, oh, which is yeah. great. That's cool. And shooter's focus, which is instantly grants plus one health potion. I think that the way the loot works is like you have a. a you don't have a perfect chance to get something, but you have an increased chance to get something that's relevant to your class or your your um, school of magic. Yeah. Mm. So you're gonna get usually get at least one item that's your school of magic, but then you'll just get general loot, which is to me was fine because it's like okay, I can try some different. I can it encourages me to try different classes. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so uh, welcome. Uh, if you are just joining us, welcome to the EME stream. We are uh, playing Breach today. It is a four v one action game. 
uh, where you uh, go in, you level up, and you try to beat just the biggest, meanest uh, demons, monsters, and other mythical creatures uh, as fast as you possibly can to uh, stop them from coming through the breach. The breach. I said the thing. Take a shot. Um, and... Uh, uh, yeah, it's it's a ton of fun. So you can actually log in to the Nmass launcher if you go to www.nmass.com and uh, download the launcher from there. Uh, when you launch the launcher, you can actually click on Breach and link your account. That'll direct you to create your account. And once you get access to the game, uh, it's free. Uh, you have until from now until 10 a.m. on uh, on Monday. And that'll just give you access forever. However, uh, as somebody mentioned earlier, you can uh, purchase other packs that will give you additional items such as character classes, uh, Veil Demon classes, sprays, skins, QC points, all kinds of cool stuff. Uh, and if you go into account.nmass.com and enter your code, you can get this very cool NMAS logo spray, which can spray be... Spray it. Let me... Uh, I'm going to put it here. Hold on. Spray that EME. Boom. Oh, done. Filler. Nope. Not there. Hell yeah. Let's do, wait, right put here. It on these, put it on here. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, now it's like end mass soda. Yeah. I gotta, I gotta get it just right. There it is. All right, perfect. You're gonna get arrested. Circuit's over here doing some push-ups. Everybody else hanging out, doing their thing. So I'm gonna uh, pass it off to one of these guys, whoever wants to play it first. I do. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I, I want to play. I do. So uh, me and... Uh, me and right. Sports oh. are going to switch spots here. Bye. Right. No, I'm staying. <laughs> oh, bye. Oh, bye. should we do the chair thing again? Or? Uh, no. You can just no? Switch okay. Here. All right. All right. I thought that was really smooth. It was smooth, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay. Um, let's get going. All right. So this is a fresh character, so we don't have a whole lot of loot to go through. I was getting my water. I so I'm just going to... I'm, I'm just going to... I'm going to play a Necro 2, I think, at some point. And I'm gonna, should we do I'm gonna AI? Ability. Oh, you should. Uh, yeah, we we can either do a co-op co AI or we could we could do a versus player. All right. Oh wait, co-op versus AI. What am I doing? Hold on. No, co-op versus player. That's yeah, what let's I do a co-op versus player. Uh, I want to be a hero. Yep, I think it's a good idea. Oh wait, random? Hundred fifty percent bonus? Never mind. But you could end up as Veil Demon. You could end up as Veil Demon. I'm alright with that. Alright, so if you want to play with us right now, jump into the game. Jump in. Uh, make sure that you've completed the Veil Demon tutorial. Uh, and then you can actually just uh, jump into the the mm -hmm. player versus mm -hmm. player versus player mode. What is this? What I'm sorry, what is it exactly called? It's called player Co op. Co op versus, versus player. player. Um I'm gonna while I'm just messing around here, I'm gonna pick a cultist. A cult. A cultist. A cult. There you go. A cultist is cool as heck. So yeah, we're showing off a. a somebody even asked, "Can you show off a different class?" We are boom, going to. Boom. Boom. Oh, except. I am ready. Sorry guys, there I'm measuring is. my DPS right now. <laughs> <laughs> so while you're waiting for uh, the queue, you can actually test out all of your abilities on these dummies here. And you get. Oh all heck right. yeah. Very good. Ah, uh, Eric Kirkui, thank you for joining us. He's gonna play a man of warrior this time. So this right. is this is cool. When you're playing versus an opponent, uh, there's kind of this this team picking that goes on. So I'm uh, a scrub, and so <laughs> I don't know what the best counter for Bastet is. But there's this kind of like, all right, so they pick Shadow Blade for their first, uh, for their for their class. And then I'm gonna pick Bastet because uh, Shadow Blades don't like cats. Um, that's not that's not the reason. Lock in. <laughs> yeah, well, it'd be like if they're they're a range heavy team that you're against. You yeah. Can, you can pick yeah. stuff that locks them down, and then Naga. Like. So real quick, somebody, uh, I, I you were totally not ignored. I'm sorry, I just missed your question. Uh, Densivities, uh, it is available in the EU as well. You can download it there, and you get free. Uh, uh, you will s also get free access to Breach as well. Download that launcher. Yeah, the EME launcher is available, so give it a give it a download. It's it's a new launcher too. It looks really nice. It is a new launcher, and it is a slick launcher. It yeah. looks very good. All right, so we got Man of War, we got Engineer, did we got me. Did you peep uh, Kirikui's uh, Twitch outfit? That was slick. I did. That was really nice. People who saw us at TwitchCon. 
Um, what do I want? In fact, can you zoom in on Kirikui right there? Real quick? Weep. He's wearing the tweet. Very good. That's a good looking outfit. That is a good looking outfit. That's a that's a, a cool you shirt. Can, you can only get that if you beat Mad Hogs and Coach's Power. Which he did. Because he brought his Brought his own slammer. Brought his own slammer. We have a video of that that, that Curtis put together. Really? We should post. Yeah. yeah. There's a few uh, people who who are we need new partners, right? We were uh, I had a lot of fun doing that. And in fact, yeah, I, yeah, we yeah, left yeah. The, uh, a stack of our pogs with, the, with the people who do the TwitchCon board game stuff. So pogs will be there next year. Yeah. <laughs> like a nice pogs. Very good. We have hundreds of them. So do we still have all of our pogs? Just sitting around all uh, over the place? We still got quite a few, yeah. We had a lot there we for a while. A lot of people, when we brought them back, people took them Aw, man. I'm not even worried about it. I'm going around this wall. Oh, so this is the new map, yes, by the way. Good. Oh, perfect. Yeah, so this is the Valley of Kings. The OK. The VOK. Uh, you the can see right... What's that? It's the eponymous map for the new uh, expansion. Yeah, absolutely. The latest patch. And this is the, the rhythm for the game, right? Is that every couple of, every couple of weeks or every month or so, there's going to be a new patch around this. Yeah, they are aiming to have a, a patch uh, roughly around this. Uh, so, yeah, uh, that was a yeah, great yeah, time to jump in right here at the beginning. These are free. If you have the die, game, dogs, so if, die. You, if you download and play this weekend and play, you can play forever. And oh, sort I should of be using my Tar Jar. will be added free uh, every Boom. Be sure to use one of your uh, health ah. Oh, yeah. There Pretty you go. Cool. I also have a heal I should be using. So oh, I'm the healer. Oh, no. For <laughs> Oh, no, I'm the healer. Apologies, everybody. Uh, so, uh, as you can see there on the left-hand side of the screen, uh, this is the Valley of Kings patch 0 0.1. Uh, there is this new map, the Valley of Kings. We showed off uh, the Medic Hero class a little bit early. Kirakui was able to play as that, which is very, very cool. Uh, you saw that it is also separated now where uh, previously it was just a Q4... Uh, Q4 uh, 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 player versus co-op, but now you can on. actually choose go. either Veil Demon or Hero Qs, and you can choose random to get a 150% bonus. I'm gonna heal these guys. When we uh, get to the next area, circle up. I'm gonna <laughs> heal y'all. Everybody, circle up. Uh, at the end of this, you will see the new boss, which is Sekhmet, the goddess of war, uh, and then uh, there is a new ranking system, which is currently in beta. For all of you esports fans out there, mm. uh, a lot of questions about that at, at TwitchCon, and, and uh, I remember Dallas kind of talking about hopeful long term plans to have you know, ranking systems and leaderboards for each of the different classes and builds. Yeah. Maybe within spellbooks, especially once stuff starts to get plastic or more fluid as people build their classes. Oh. Yeah. Alright, I'm going over here to blow this thing up. Uh oh, uh oh. I'm in a bad way. Uh oh. Uh, so, let's see. Somebody said Breach is eligible for EME partner applications right now. It's on the launcher. Uh, there is actually a partnership program offered uh, directly through QC Games, uh, but you can also uh, speak to us uh, for the partnership program. Uh, and do both. We're, we're yeah, you're, yeah. You're encouraged to do both. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, did you guys mention the Invitational? We have not mentioned the Invitational yet. There is an Invitational that's going to be happening very, very soon, actually. Uh, let me pull that up. But uh, it is going to have, I believe, ten thousand uh, dollars in total price pool. Is that correct? Uh, I believe so. Hold on, I'm in the zone. <laughs> But yes, big prizes, uh, some some really good kind of hand-picked teams to participate in that invitational. Artisanal it's going to be artisanal teams. teams. Yeah. yeah, so um, it's going to be eight teams total, or uh, 40 players, and it's going to be a $10,000 prize pool. You can actually check out the uh, news post for that right here. It's going to be beginning on March 2nd. I'm really excited to see... Um, just like uh, some really solid teams stream a competition like that. You know, yeah, like talk absolutely. through what they're doing yeah, and, and explain. And, like, and when you have someone who really knows the game playing a field and then what have you. Like, right. How do you plan around that? Yeah. yeah. And ha the team dynamic around who plays field. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, it's. I mean, What's this listen, guy? we're very, very good. I understand I mean, we're pros. that you're you're almost blinded by our incredible gameplay abilities. Especially me. Uh, but for uh -oh. if it's even possible for someone to be better than us, we would love to see that. So <laughs> this is this is an opportunity for maybe that to happen. Kind of a uh, yeah. And I don't want to like downplay our abilities or anything. No, no, please don't. I get offended very easily. <laughs> you're, you're a prideful man. Yeah. I'm a prideful man, yeah. I keep forgetting to use my tar jar more often. I love the ability. It slows things down. I love its name. Doesn't it actually like help light, you, light people up too? Am, am I uh, wrong on that? No, but I think that's a, maybe a modification or something you, you can do to add jar, effects to the tar then, jar. And then do that dodge, which is sort of like a D&D style blink. So oh your, yeah. Tar, your, your tar jar blinks. Hey. Stop. What? Yeah, what oh, are you talking? <laughs> oh, I. <laughs> I don't know. Tar I don't know points. if bear shoes would get it because no. these puns. Someone here doesn't like Star Wars. Whatever they said, you're discuss. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm okay. We don't have to discuss that. Discuss. He doesn't like Star Wars. <laughs> or it's fine. Firefly. Do you just not like space? Are you afraid? I of like space. You, There's just better you, space. Are you afraid of wide open spaces? I'm not. I'm, I'm. In fact, I'm uh, specifically afraid of enclosed spaces. But so uh, outer space is your favorite place. Yeah, outer space is great. Big fan of it. So maybe you don't like these these movies and TV shows that take place largely within like spaceships that are that tend to be. Well, that's not true because I like uh, the Next Generation, which is the best Star Trek. So boring. <laughs> <laughs> See, we're just we're, I say potato and you say potato. Let's call the whole thing off. Get out of here. <laughs> it's the final uh -oh. the final Elite incoming. I'm trying to stay with my crew. Gonna get that artifact too. Oh, nope, they got it. Oh, cool. Thank you, Karakui. I like that dodge. You just rolled right underneath the beam. It looked cool. It did look cool. I love that you grow horns. It's very, yeah. It's very good. Yet another fantastic thing about the occultist. The spell effects have just gotten, like, I feel like every time I play, there's something that feels more rewarding as far as the graphic. Mm-hmm. So with the Necro, there was, you had a, uh, a direct damage missile. Shoddy, shoddy. And, and oh, God. Oh, no. oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I've never actually seen anybody drop into this hole. Whoa. It's a new map. What happens now? I don't know. I think, uh, I think I'm done. I think we ran into a bug. Whew. Hey, you disappeared. Look, look, look at how much further you're getting from the. Uh, the uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Well, we'll see how this goes. This is a mythical space, so it makes sense that there would be a bottomless pit, right? It's true. <laughs> that is true. Man. I think now is an important time to say, folks, that while the game is uh, in an almost completely uh, uh, completed state, this is technically still the beta. Yeah. We are still, <laughs> we are still in early access. Yeah. Absolutely. Hashtag early access. Hashtag early access. No coming back from that. Uh, if you hit escape, is there? I mean, I could just like. I want to see how this plays out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah you're I don't right. want to abandon my heels? team. Is there a range on your heels? All right. Can you, uh, We're going to uh, help your team. <laughs> <laughs> we'll move, we'll move back over to this. Oh. That way we can uh, hopefully. Uh, uh. Man. <laughs> I just saw myself. <laughs> uh, I guess that means that there's what pale. five more weeks of winter or something. <laughs> Depending on how pale you are. I am very pale. All right, so we are uh, we're getting this fixed. Rebooting, getting back in the game. Uh, uh, uh. So yeah, if you guys have any questions about the game or anything like that, feel free to let us know. Um, while we're uh, while we're getting this, does that count uh, as my turn? That's my question. It might count as your turn. Oh, oh I gotta leave. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was in the zone. Oh, I don't know your login. Yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and get that. I'm gonna start putting in every possible password. <laughs> <laughs> Hack his password right here. Socially engineer him. What's your mother's maiden name? If, you, if your mother had a maiden name, <laughs> what would it be? Theoretically, yeah. if you were named at, if your last name was your mother's last name, what would it be? Uh, just. And off the top of your head. <laughs> what was the name of your third You do one of those quiz that you create a quiz right now. Yeah. Like, what is your what is your your Harry Potter name? Yeah. It's like your what was your mother's last name and then the name of your first pet? <laughs> Street was your elementary school. Who was your favorite 
it's and then your your house is the last name of your favorite athlete growing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so somebody asked if this game is entirely PvE or do they have PvP? That actually was PvP. We yeah. were uh, four players and we were playing against one other player that was actually like playing against us. Mm -hmm. The Veil Demon was controlling uh, minions. They were controlling traps. They were controlling the elites that would pop up. Uh, and then at the end, they're actually able to control the boss as is well. Is it so. sacrilegious to call it 4v1? Some people love that idea. I'd say it's, it. I'd say it's 4v1. That's what yeah. Yeah. just said. 4v1 yeah. I love 4v1. the 4v1 idea, uh, especially for the esports, like showmanship of it. The, the like, who's your veil demon? You only have one, and everyone else mm -hmm. has to watch off the side of the stage. Like, right. That, that at like the elite level feels really compelling to me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I'm alone in that assertion. Yeah, if you just want to like play a dungeon, uh, like an awesome dungeon run game, you can play versus AI. You don't want to like, I, I, I don't want to compete against another person. Yeah, yeah. you can play against players. Have I, I control always them. warm up with an with an AI one That's just to get idea. used to, especially because I tend to try a different, a little bit of a different build or something. Mm -hmm. or yeah, yeah absolutely. Else, so. uh, all right. Well, then that means that it is Brian's turn, and uh, Sporter is going to be leaving us right now. I have to depart, unfortunately. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Yeah. Good game. Good game. Good game. G -G. Good game. Good capital game. G. Capital G. Uh, play free. Play, Play free, free weekend. right now. Uh, so, Brian is going to jump into the game real quick. Uh, and this will probably be our last match of the day. However, uh, while we are getting this all set up, uh, if you are just joining us, uh, Breach is a 4v1 uh, co-op co versus game. Uh, you can play against the computer, as we said. We can also play against one other player. Uh, and you are working together to get a number of, uh, what are you doing? I'm, I'm oh, you're trying around. to get him in a party. No, I'm uh, messing around. I'm just, oh, I see. There's some, there's a moats, but I forget how to do them. Uh, I believe it's X. Nope, mm -hmm. I'm wrong. C. Well, I might I be wrong know. there too. Uh, <laughs> it is a four uh, v one game. Uh, we are going to be jumping into a co-op versus player right now. And uh, Brian is probably going to be playing a necromancer. Uh, because that's what <laughs> oh, yeah. said earlier. Uh, I do but love necros. Well, we also have the um, the new gear thing. Yeah, we also have a new gear that we got in one of our previous matches. Uh, so if I now play on the email the launcher, can I later play through Steam with the same account? Uh, somebody asked us this a little bit earlier. We do believe that that is true, that later you'll be able to play. Uh, but for now, uh, this is giving you access directly through the EME launcher. So we've got some, we've got our little side missions here. Yeah. That's new. So That's as cool. as you play, you'll get side missions so you can get a new outfit. Uh, Co-op co versus player wins. You're over 50. Uh, you can try new classes. Who's hitting you? What'd you do? Oh, someone's healing me. That's what healing looks like. Oh. The green is healing. So. Uh, if you'd like to play for free right now, download the NMAS launcher. Go to nmas.com. Uh, uh, click download for free. Uh, and then from there, when you launch the launcher, you'll be able to link your account to QC Games. It'll walk you through everything that you need to do. Once you access the game, you get it for free forever. Uh, if you would like to purchase uh, Founders Packs, you can also do that as well. That'll give you things like classes uh, for both <laughs> the heroes and the Veil Demons. Uh, and you'll get skins, you'll get sprays, you'll get all kinds of cool stuff. Uh, and also, if you go uh, to account.nmas.com and click Activate Code, uh, you can type in the code EME Spray, which gives you a fun little uh, EME logo that you can put in there. Oh man, you can do this, I believe in you. Nope. Nope. Oh, man. <laughs> Overzealous. <laughs> there was someone who, like, I saw someone, like, moved one of the chairs onto one of the... I don't... I have no idea how they did it. Oh, uh, yeah, you can move these chairs. Ah. Oh, hit accept. Enter. We're in it. <laughs> it's like a golf. <laughs> they had hair <laughs> over their face for a second. I was like, what's happening? Did you say skins? I did. I did, in fact, say skins. Dark. There are uh, many skins. In fact, uh, we saw one a little bit earlier, and Kirikui's in here as well today, so you'll probably be able to see one of them. Uh, but oh, my water. oh yeah. Um, 
But during uh, TwitchCon, uh, if you beat Brian here in Pogs, uh, <laughs> you would get a uh, you would get a Twitch uh, specific outfit. Just if stuff. you just came by the booth. If you just you came by the booth. But I mean, really, it was Pogs. Like this is on you, me. If he beat you, he wasn't going to give you one. <laughs> <laughs> the Pogs were awesome. They, they were, were so really cool. I wish I had one. I forgot to I forgot to bring some in here. But Poggers. Poggers. Who are we fighting? Uh, a stone Togor. A stone Togor and a Uvirus. Oh, Uvirus is the player, but you're going to be going up against. No, isn't it? Stone Togor. No, that's the monster. That's the monster. No, Uvirus the building. Uh, huh. Oh, I get it. Okay, yeah, that's their build. There's the there's the Twitch outfit actually. So you can see like the builds of everybody, mm -hmm. which is cool. And I think yeah, you can see the. I can see what the Veil Demon can do. So oh great, we're going deep. straight into Valley of Kings too. That's awesome. So note to self: don't fall in things. Don't fall in that that pit specifically. Uh, Stay away from it. Mm, I love. I personally love more right. dodge charges. I like yeah. to move around. And this is only the beginning. We'll need far more strength for victory to be ours. I use an engineer and uh, sniper Julia? skill on my medic. I take it they don't belong here. Hmm. So that's a, that's important. There you I, go. That's so cool. I love that. That's my f like the most compelling part of this to me is right. is the the future part where like there's a meta and we're rebuilding and theory crafting stuff. Yeah. So and it's we've mentioned it a couple times. I don't know. I can't. I was super into the game, so I can't entirely remember if we talked about it completely. But when you hit a certain level with a character class, uh, you can actually take skills from that character class and put them onto other character classes to essentially make your own character class. So if you level up a pyromancer and you level up a medic, you can move. Uh, you can mash those skills together to make your own unique class. And it's not just between two classes, it's between all the classes. So you're encouraged to uh, uh, level up all of these classes, try them out. There's different uh, quests and everything that you experience each day. Uh, and so, yeah, absolutely try it out and, and theory craft. You can only mix abilities within the same school. Uh, that actually might be true, now that I think about it. Yeah. They have teachable skills. Uh, not really teachable skills, no. Uh, it's more... They, they have their own skill set. So a necromancer has their own skill set. A medic has their own skill set. They have those skills permanently. Like, that's, that's what is assigned to that class. But if you level up another class, then you can take the skills from that class and put them on this oh, to, replace, I wasn't to replace some skills. So, not really teachable, it's more of like, here's a group of, here's a pool of your skills. I stopped paying attention and got stuck in a trap. That happens. That's, um, that's on me, guys. That's on me, team. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, can we, uh, can we see the Demon Veil side of gameplay later? Um, yeah, we could probably do... Yeah, we can do a, probably do do a, a Veil Demon, veil demon. for sure. Yeah. For show. For show. I actually like the Veil Demon gameplay a lot. Um, yeah, me too. I just seeing you play this class made me want to like, try it out. <laughs> and I, and the, the extra Shambler thing was like super interesting to me. It is really interesting. Like, it's uh, nice to have an extra Is that a build that you could do where you just have this army of Shamblers? And like, would you ever be in a situation where you get you almost need your team to participate in letting you get last hit. It becomes like a a League of Legends type thing where it's like who gets your last hits? Right. Ouch. Dodge. Dodge. I forgot how directional that is. Like I just throw my 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 thing into the ground sometimes. Oh yeah. <laughs> hey, hey one of the objectives. Mazel tov. 
I'm excited because you haven't played this match yet, have you? Uh, no, I haven't, and I haven't seen some of these abilities feel new to me, so that's cool. So you gain ultimate charge and increase ultimate accrual rate. That's cool. Um, sounds like somebody, it sounds like a uh, elite just got seven. I'm gonna do that one. I like the, the dodge and then dodge thing seems really fun for the way I... Oh, here we go. Hey team, are you ready? <laughs> are you ready for this elite? Don't get stuck in that rift. Everyone attack and then blow up on him. <laughs> There's one ability I really like. It's like a quality of life thing for the this class where it's like you, instead of individually targeting each one of your um I, don't know, it's, I think that guy's dead um they all like rush the same thing and then blow up together yeah which is really cool everyone attack him oh good move by the veil demon there to get that. Uh, when you, as a Veil Demon, when you possess a monster, that monster actually gets some bonuses to it as well. So it becomes, it becomes very, very slightly, but it becomes stronger. Uh-oh, your buddy Ravencroft is down. Oh, nope, yeah. they got him. I was, I started trying to get him up, but then I was also dying. <laughs> oh man, five seconds, it looks like we might lose this one. The fail demon wins this objective. It makes sense. We were all almost dead. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I'm so, going to be honest with you. I don't even know what the objective was in that. Just kill the enemies. Just <laughs> oh. kill as many as you could. Um, so up there on the top of the screen, you can see the team experience points. Uh, so as they're killing monsters and everything like that, you'll see the blue bar move upwards. You can see that they have uh, a overall team level of three so uh, whenever you see the perks appear on the right hand side of the screen uh, that means that you have you have leveled up no uh -oh. Uh -oh. I'm, not, I'm not downed yet but I'm about to be Kirikui's still up medic is still up there you go where is this, uh, oh, they're going to the next objective, I guess. To... It looks like the next objective already started, so you guys are, uh, you guys are in trouble. Uh-oh. This thing is very challenging. Yeah, they're keeping you there. I'm gonna hide around this corner. I don't think I've fought this monster before, so... Really? Oh, man, this thing's very difficult. <laughs> this guy's super aware, too. Oh, no. The pain. I believe you can sacrifice to uh, to revive yourself, if I'm not wrong, but I can't remember what the button is for it. Uh, hold B real quick. We stand at a crucial time. Uh, race dead. Hunting race. Sacrifice minion. Uh, maybe two? Or burn oh, no, you don't have any minions. All that I've got. I need help. The Academy can't see it any more than you can. But it's not your fault. Are we all... Who's who's up still? Perspective. You're all down. Lost! Oh, no. no! Oh, yeah, we are all down. Good job, Veil Demon. Good job, Veil Demon. You did it. Who are you gonna upvote? Uh, I mean, the, do I get to upvote the Veil Demon? <laughs> you <laughs> he, can. He did a great job. Yeah, absolutely. I res respectfully, a respectful loss here. Are there any SA servers for this game? Uh, I assume you mean SEA, Southeast Asia. Um, South American. So oh, maybe South American. South African. 
it might, it might be South American. Uh, these are uh, NA and I believe EU servers. Am I, am I correct on that? Um, I don't know. Oh, okay. Also, I was reading what that item did, which I seemed really cool. Yeah. <laughs> and A and E, yeah, yeah that's correct. A &E, yeah. Well, Sh somebody said South American. <laughs> Sh Shout American. Uh, okay, so uh, somebody requested that we do a Veil Demon, so uh, let's go ahead and do one more. We'll do it as a Veil Demon, uh, and that'll be our last match of the day, I think. Okay. Does it sound good to you? I'm going to be a Veil Demon, huh? Yeah, you can be a Veil Demon for sure. Okay. Let's, uh... So we'll do co-op versus player, and then and you'll then go as Veil Demon only. What is Breach? Let me tell you, Breach is a 4v1 action game where you are working as a team to fight a bunch of monsters, whether they are demons, <coughs> Zuntite, uh, demons, Onis, uh, Yokai, whatever you want to call them. There's tons and tons of things uh, throughout mythology and lore that are actually real and are being uh, uh, brought into our world to basically destroy it. And it is up to you and your team to get rid of them and stop them from doing that. Um, when I say 4v1, it is going to be four players, heroes, uh, which you're seeing on the screen right now, versus the Veil Demon. The Veil Demon is able to uh, summon these creatures and summon traps and whatnot to attack, uh, attack the heroes and keep them from winning. Um, we uh, are offering right now a free access so if you go to uh, www.nmas.com, you can download the launcher, uh, and then in the launcher you can select Breach. It'll run you through the instructions on how to link your account. Once you do that, you get free access to the game now and forever. You get it just continuously. Uh, this is only available until Monday at 10 a.m. PST, so you should definitely jump on it right now. Give the game a shot if you'd like to, uh, and... Uh, also, you can go to account.nmas.com and enter the code EME Spray to get a fun little uh, uh, EME logo spray. Oh no. I damaged someone else's property. <laughs> Does that say straight out of heels? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's one of the sprays. It's a great spray. The game is a lot of fun. You should definitely try it. Mm -hmm. I feel like one time I got all the way to the top of these things, but I and then I tried to jump over to on top of the building and couldn't get there. And yeah, I've said. I I I'm able to pretty consistently get to the top, but uh, it usually I I don't really know what to do when I get up there. <laughs> It's like a dog that catches oh, the car. There's more training dummies back here. It's, it's a little, like a little, pri for you. a little private studio here. <laughs> Nobody wants me to be their Veil Demon, or everyone wants to be Veil Demon right now? Maybe they all want to be Veil Demon. They all want to know the power of what it's like to... Well, yeah, if, wow. you can, <laughs> if you can control something as powerful as the thing we just fought, I can That's see true. why. Yeah. Is it something like Dauntless? Uh, I've never personally played Dauntless. To my knowledge, Dauntless is closer to something like a Monster Hunter kind of style game. Uh, this is not like that. If anything, this is more... Um, I don't even really know what to compare it to. Uh, it's a, it's an action game with RPG-ish elements. Um, it's kind of in a league of its own, really. <laughs> uh, arcade games, what do they got? See some. Is that number muncher? Street combat, <laughs> <laughs> munchman, and alien, alien onslaught. onslaught. That's funny. You guys, you guys at QC. Yeah, making <laughs> jokes. How are you doing it? This feels. This feels very QC. Uh, somebody it. said something close to like uh, uh, Dead by Daylight or um, Left for Dead. Uh, that's fairly apt. I'd, I'd say that's closer for sure. There's a little mini door here. So have you played a lot of Veil Demon? 
Uh, not for a good long while. Really? Oh, where are you going? I don't know. I went through that portal. Oh, you're learning how to be the veil demon. Well, this is actually is, great. Is that what this was? Yeah. yeah, this is the uh, this is the training mission for the Veil Demon. So now you'll get to see what it's like to be a Veil Demon while we wait to be a Veil Demon. Perfect. How high can I go? You can go very high if you uh, hold space. You can go straight up. Hey. So I guess not that high, but pretty high. But first, you must see that you are beyond mortal limitation. You are free to go wherever you wish. Into the air, through walls, bodies. Alright, so you have full control over the space that you're in. You can go up, you can go down. Uh, it's like a little flight simulator. Again, you don't have to worry about being hit as a Veiled Demon. So that's pretty, pretty important. You can even control the lesser minds of your minions. Use their powers. Lend them your strength. So you can possess all of the monsters uh, that spawn. Uh, and each one has their own special abilities. I uh, usually have two, uh, which is mapped to either one or the right click. I need help. End your possession whenever you like. And then, of course, you can jump out whenever you want. You can still control them after they've died for a time. So these are the traps that you have seen used against us many, many times. Uh, things like slows on the ground, uh, explosions, such as that one. Uh, you can directly affect the environment. However, there are targets that appear on the ground so that the players can see them and get out of the way. Uh, they can't see that. So the blue that just showed up, they won't be able to see that. Uh, but as soon as it starts to activate, they'll know to get get out of dodge. And really, it's a, all about mixing these elements. So you can see he's throwing up a wall. Now he can throw it on the slow. Um, if it takes up a, a space on the ground, you're not able to place a, a trap there. So. The slow mixed with the spikes, you can't do. Uh, but the wall mixed with the spikes, absolutely. Let me see you wield your newfound power. Destroy your enemies. Let none stand against us. Uh, he still receives a buff, so you can see right there on the right-hand side of the screen, he can actually select uh, what his new ability is going to be. Uh, it is a lot of different things, like dodge charges for uh, the monsters. Uh, you can get damage shields uh, for your monsters. It's a lot of stuff that directly benefits the minions that you're able to possess. This tutorial's way, like, this, this is different. Yeah, Unless it is. It's much better like this. So now that he's in the area, he's going to be able to use his fourth ability, the ultimate ability, which is the summon elite, which he can actually possess as well if he chooses to. Uh, but in some cases, it's not best to do that. It's best to let the elite go for what he's going to do. Uh, and then set down a bunch of traps and stop them. That way the elite can uh, destroy them. But uh, it is important to note that uh, if he does possess the elite or any of the monsters, they actually gain a little bit extra health. So they're a little bit harder to kill. I love possessing the dogs. No yeah. one suspects the puppy. D E D. D E D Z. And there you go. That's what it's like to be oh. a Veil Demon. I mean, I could accept and play a match now, but we're at a time, huh? Uh, we are. We are technically out of time. Yeah. Okay. Well, then I'm going to uh, decline that. And let All right. The next Veil Demon go in. There you go. But back we go. All right, buddy. Uh, <laughs> all right, buddy. <laughs> Hey, right, pal. Thanks. <laughs> am, am, am I your, am I your buddy? You are. You are my buddy. Uh -huh. So, uh, thank you guys so much for uh, joining us. We're going to show off the trailer one more time, and that'll give you a better explanation of how to uh, how to play the game. Uh, but 
uh, from there. Uh, we hope that you guys have had a great uh, time. Uh, and while I'm setting up this video, uh, I will let Brian explain a little bit more of what Breach is and what you can do. Hey, there's the Dallas. So I'm going to pop in right here. Oh, quick. sure. So 4v1 dungeon crawl with a PvP element. Uh, cool mythological kind of story piece to it. You can play for free this weekend and then keep the game forever. And it's going to move from uh, early access, which we're in now, uh, to free to play in the future. But um, if you're enjoying the game too, there's a $10 pack with a ton of value right now, which has uh, $20 worth of QC points to buy classes and equipment, uh, skins and all that kind of fun stuff. Um, I'm definitely going to be continuing to play and get better just in case, especially if I have to do this again. Right. So, <laughs> <laughs> but so, you know, join us, check it out. Uh, Breach. Breach. Yeah. Breach. Uh, I'm loving it. And I'll add this too. Yeah. Love the dev team. Really believe I've been a long time fanboy of, of um, Gabe's work from, from way back in his mythic days. So I really trust this team to continue to develop this and create a really like viscerally, um, satisfying PvP experience or gameplay experience in the future. So, like, not only do I already enjoy the just dodging around and playing and some of the class builds, I'm looking forward to the customizability of the classes and accessing that level of gameplay. I just need to get good first. Yeah, um, get good. And then also just like what the future will be. Like, I'm I'm curious to see how this all turns out. Um, they seem super responsive to the community, um, and certainly if you're playing and you, uh, you're playing on the EME launcher and you have notes or feedback, by all means, hit us up. The the NMAS community team passes that stuff right on to yeah, you. Yeah, absolutely. And, and you can see, like, the QC team jumped in uh, today with us. So, yeah, we're interested in your feedback. Uh, you can be part of helping to shape this game. Yeah. So get in. Play. So, play this weekend for free. And get it continuously it for free. It's a PFKF. Yep, PFKF <laughs> is what we hashtag PFKF. Right, let's see this trailer again. All right, thanks everybody for joining us. Thank we you. will see you next time. Thanks, stick around for playing. Stick around for the trailer and type in EME spray into the redeem code to get your free and mass logo spray. Bye everybody. Have a great rest of the day. This is breach. A new co-op action RPG experience where humanity fights back against an army of mythological creatures. In this world, modern Earth is invaded by an alternate reality where every myth and legend we thought was, well, myth and legend turns out to be real. And boy, are they pissed. Welcome to the Dungeon Brawl. You've been recruited as the Academy's newest mage. You're now a key part of Earth's last hope. You'll join forces with up to three other mages, or go solo if you prefer some alone time. Fight your way through missions to save Earth from ultimate destruction. But first things first, you need a character. You decide the look and then pick from dozens of classes or create your own. Once you've settled on your class, it's time to fight. Work your way through a dungeon crawl full of monsters, complete objectives, and do your best to stay ahead of the ultimate enemy. The Veil Demon. Veil Demons are all-powerful ghost-like creatures that conjure hazards and can possess any monster throughout your mission. And oh yeah, they can be controlled by a player. Assuming you can fight your way through the dungeon, slay all the monsters, complete every objective, and not die at the hands of the Veil Demon, you get to face a final boss. If you beat the boss monster, congrats, you did it. Mission accomplished. Reap the rewards and get ready for your next mission. Cause it's a big world out there, and we got a lot of cleaning up to do. Happy hunting.